Hey, what's up everyone? I'm back. And for tonight, I have a fat bike hub on my hand. And this is called Salon. The brand is Salon. It has like 32 holes uh, at the rear hub and also 32 holes at the front. Now this one is disc ready, 6 volts. And it's a uh, quick release or QR only. It doesn't have convertible for uh, TA or true axles. And this is uh, cup and cone, just like Shimano technology. This one they don't use uh, seal bearings. It's basically it's just ball bearings and then cup and cone. So uh, let me try and do a sound check. There you go. Now it's not really loud. It's just like uh, Shimano rear hub. Uh, what else? Uh, one sec. Okie dokes. Now, <clears throat> for the uh, size of the hubs, unfortunately my caliper doesn't uh, work on this one because they are kind of uh, long or it's not enough so a while ago I tried using a uh, tape measure and uh, if I'm correct the front is at 135 mil and the rear is at 180 to 185 millimeters but most likely it, it is just at 180 as most fat bikes they're using 180 or 180 mil on the rear hub. Now, this one, the free hub body that we have here is most likely uh, steel. So I'm gonna remove the screwers. I'm gonna show them to you. So indeed, steel is kind of durable, but it's on the heavy side, heavy weight. So this one, the skewer, is just a plain black. Most likely this one is also steel. Yep, magnet works. Well, if you're going to use a fat bike, yeah, definitely much better. Use a uh, steel free up body and then a steel uh, skewers. Why? Because fat bikes, they do weigh uh, like more than 20 kilos, 15 kilos. Let me check out the uh, rear body. Yes, I'm correct. This one is steel, and also this one, basically just like Shimano cup and cone. I'm gonna try the the hub itself. Okay, for this one, it is uh, alloy or aluminum. Well, not pure aluminum, but it's like a mixture of steel and aluminum so that's why it's called alloy so same thing on the front <clears throat> uh, what else I can try and show you oh yep the uh, most or one of the common question is that if this kind of hub will fit the modern type of uh, rotors so I also have a stainless bolt here and then we're gonna try I think I have a drum rotor over here so this is 160M this is definitely uh, a newer rotor disc it's modern because some fat bikes when you buy a fat bike and it's a built bike most hubs on a built bike they have different sizes for the uh, bolt pattern and with this one I'm I believe this is much better than uh, uh, stock hubs or built or the one that came with the built bike so let's go ahead and see if I'm correct and let's see if we can install this without any problems so far so far they're all aligned so let me just try and install them 
not gonna use any tool Allen key <clears throat> and I'm not gonna I don't need to tighten up the bolts I just wanna let you see if you can uh, if we can sorry if we can install the rotor modern rotors on the uh, uh, fat bike hub okay so far so good okay let's just put it that way don't want to spend a lot of time just installing this so there you go I'm almost done and it fits perfectly without any problems So those are the problems that I uh, encountered or I received some DMs or PMs asking me if they buy this kind of hub, will it fit using modern waters like this, like the SRAM or the uh, Shimano XT uh, or RT56 and 66. So there you go, it fits well just need to tighten up the bolts. I don't want to do that right now. It will take some time. So, uh, yeah, before we go, finally the uh, uh, weight check. I'm guessing this is more than 700 grams or maybe maybe 800 grams or close to 1 kilo. Since this is this type of hub is using a uh, still free a body so definitely it will weigh more than the uh, high-end uh, hubs by the way this is just an entry level for your info this is just uh, an entry level but much higher level than your stock uh, fat bike hubs the one that came with built bikes so let me go ahead and try check the weight. <clears throat> Gonna put this up over here. Uh, oh man, I'm not sure if this one will work. Uh huh. Yep, I think more than one kilo. We now have 995 grams without the skewer. So. With this skewer, it is at one kilo and 1,061 grams, so more than one kilo. So indeed, this is heavy, but it's durable. Even though it's on the heavy side, you can expect that this kind of hubs will last several years. All you need to do replace the ball bearings repack the uh, cup and cone and regrease right you don't need to worry about looking for sealed bearings and looking for the correct sizes but anyway uh, if you need to buy this kind of hubs the link to order this Will be on the video description or on the comment section. I this is my last pair, so I'm not really sure when can I have uh, another fresh or new stock. But so far, I just got that one like last week, and I've sold like uh, one pair like a couple of months ago. So far, the buyer left a very good rating. He, he get, he gave me a five star so anyway uh, that's all for now I'm gonna try upload other videos about uh, scooter bikes cars and gaming or gadgets anything that I can think of so again thanks for the support and see you next time